2018, cinema's opponent Martha McSally's goal of becoming a senator may actually become reality. Tonight, speculation is growing that Governor Doug Ducey could appoint her to finish the term of the late Senator uh, John McCain if McCain's current replacement, John Kyle, decides he does not stay on. ABC 15's Justin Pizera is live for us. Justin McSally may not have won, but she has a lot of support out there. She really does, Katie, especially if you look at the numbers. She pulled in more than a million votes. Now, that is not enough for victory, but that is still a lot of people who would like to see her as a U.S. Senator. I just called Kirsten Cinema and congratulated her on becoming Arizona's first female senator. I'm what a difference a few days can make. Republican Martha McSally sitting on her couch with her dog, wishing Kirsten Cinema nothing but success. Not even a week before, the two were facing off in contentious, multi million dollar campaigns, an all out fight. Arizona Republic columnist Lori Roberts watched the race and has been critical of a few steps McSally made. When she suddenly embraced Donald Trump after stiff arming him for, for the better part of a year, I was pretty, pretty critical of that. So is she the best choice to finish out part of the late Senator John McCain's term? The speculation was certainly there long before Election Day. If McSally loses, she would be the likely candidate to serve out part of McCain's term if current Senator John Kyle steps down in January. The idea now getting national attention. Frankly, the governor, if he has to choose a replacement, is going to choose a Republican. Why not choose the one who got a million votes? Governor Doug Ducey's office addressing the speculation today saying the governor is hopeful John Kyle will continue to serve in the appointed Senate seat through 2020, but they're not speculating on a vacancy that doesn't exist. So the governor addressing all of this speculation tonight. I did reach out to McSally's team at this point. They are not commenting. We're live in Phoenix. Justin Pizarro, ABC 15, Arizona.